uh, all about boosting your productivity. Oh, there's the mic. Uh, boosting your productivity at work, giving you more time to spend on code and not making PowerPoint presentations. Uh, so what we're looking at here is a Quarto presentation, and that's a, a, a tool that we use every single day at work. Um, and yeah, I'm going to show you kind of the end result and then go through how I, how I built this and how easy it is to move from your Julia script into something you can share with share with your stakeholders or with, with other uh, interested parties. So it's, it's, I made this one up yesterday. Um, I thought the timing was quite good. Uh, a very random data set, uh, which is the England versus Netherlands football match tonight, as I'm English, uh, you know, in the Netherlands. So yeah, we're going it's kind of more about the format of the, of the slides rather than the content. But here's a quick quick sort of title side and you can show you sort of the bullet points going through. Uh, all, all as you would in a PowerPoint presentation, but without the need to uh, directly say, I want this to happen, this to happen, this to happen. And yeah, quick team comparison. So we've got our sort of like simple text slide. You can put emojis in there, titles. All the transitioning happens automatically. We can load PNGs in there, any images. Um, these are charts which are made kind of on the fly. The colors look a bit off there, but this is a comparison of the last five matches between England and Netherlands. You can see the Netherlands are certainly looking a lot better in terms of wins and goals. So not much hope for me tonight. And you'll see here as well, we also have some PNGs which are loaded. So these kind of players to watch are Golden Boy, Jude Bellingham, um, and the Netherlands Golden Boy, Gakpo, I think might be top scorer at the moment, so uh, worrying. And yeah, my unbiased prediction is the Netherlands will actually win. That's my view. I am a cynic. Um, and you can see here, even in Quarto, we can even have some nice confetti effects. Uh, and England to blame the referee. So, that, so that's a quick demo of, uh, or quick example of what, what Quarto can deliver. And we will now have a quick look at how this is actually made. So the beauty of Quarto and literate.jl, which is a package which converts our Julia script here into the markdown format we need to create the Quarto presentation is, is that I can work here directly in, in Julia. So it's a JL script file. I can do all my imports as I normally would. A uh, little bit of boilerplate to make sure I'm in the right package, but that's my issue for pushing to certain places. This is just normal, normal Julia code with comments, right? So we see here this is a, a heading, a level one heading. And it's prefixed by the extra, extra hashtag here. A level two heading. Bullet points are just simple, simple hyphens. Uh, we have the rest of our headings, and then just pure Julia code here. So it's the function that I've got, which creates those Mackie Jail plots. Um, we go through there, and there's some, there's a bit of boilerplate for for Quartos. So this is how I got those charts to come in incrementally as I went through the slides. We have our simple load of our PNGs here, which is just marked down. Um, we have the, the figure tag, the figure text, and the final path where it saves. You'll see that in my project directory here, these few here. And any kind of bolding, emojis, or anything like that. So the beauty of this is I've got this very uh, straightforward Julia script. And I have some tasks set up. So I have a task here which just run, uh, which runs a literate script to convert this into a QMD. So you'll see that here. So you can also create these in pure QMD if you don't want to go from Julia. Uh, and you'll see the normal markdown notation. So it's converted this Julia script into this Quato QMD. And from here, I have another task. This is the beauty of VS Code, is you can set your user tasks. Uh, I'll show you those quickly at the end and try and share them as well through pre-talks. We also then have another task, which if I get the right button, it's not that one. It's not that one. OK, they're not going to work. Um, they would normally give you a preview so you can make changes on the fly. But what I'll do instead is I'll start in here, and I'll run a task which is Quarto Render. This should start the Julia process, which it is. So this is now using the uh, current pre-release version of Quarto, which uses the Julia engine, as opposed to needing to worry about iJulia or Jupyter, uh, which is a real nice change. Would recommend downloading it. 
Uh, and you can see here in my terminal, it's just going through and running those code blocks, producing the reports. And there we go, they're done. So it's, it's these two files here. So I have uh, HTML, so these are both done at the same time. This is the HTML report, which is easier. We find it easier if you're, you know, we might do a presentation to business stakeholders, and then afterwards we share it, but it's easier to share as a, a flat report for them to scroll through, as opposed to having to click through the slides. And from here, we can directly then just go to the reveal.js version of that and open up our slides here. And the real beauty of this is I can quickly come in and make changes. This might be a report that we have monthly. I can have my data downloading as part of this. So if I, uh, you know, if I had a CSV file, I could just do add that in there. You know, load that CSV uh, every month. I could just come in here, rerun this report, and it would update automatically. So let's say that uh, this snap changes. It would more likely be Netherlands four wins, England one win still. Quickly reproduce that report. The junior service is still running from last time, so it's even quicker. And I come back into my slides, and you'll see that that has already then updated, ready to share, ready to present. Um, and yeah, that is, I think, the, the quickest demo of Quarto you could possibly give. Um, there's so much more to it. There's so much more customization. There's so many more plugins and extensions. And the real beauty of it is I can now <laughs> work up to 10 minutes before my presentations, quickly hit a task, shortcut on my keyboard, and be ready to present. Um, not ideal. My boss is in the room, so I normally give myself at least a day of prep. Um, yeah, he knows that's not true. Cool. Thank you, everyone. Any questions quickly? I think we've got a couple of minutes. Why would you not work through QMD like from the beginning? Uh, as you said, it's possible, but why going through the pain of, of doing JL and then QMD? Um, I think for me, I quite often work through my analysis kind of just in these raw JL files, work through it interactively, and then it's easier for me to then quickly switch from this. I, I'll go in, you know, I might have another section here, and I'll, I'll have some, some charts created. I'd have tested those in VS interactively. And then all I've got to do is go, OK, so I want to add a title to this, so new chart, um, add comments. It kind of exists in that, in that script. Um, and Literate does that so seamlessly that it's, it's easier for me to do it that way. Thank you. Uh, thanks for the talk. I had a quick question. How good is the LaTeX support? Uh, very good, actually. I haven't used it a whole lot. Um, but if you check out Quarto, uh, Re uh, another great thing, really good documentation on Quarto, lots of great examples. Um, but yeah, all, all, all supported. Um, but yeah, I, ca I can't speak too much to it. Thanks. Thanks. Cool, thank you. That's me. Thank you very much, everyone.